Hi, everybody. Tim Hughes here. Um, I'm uh, the uh, co-founder and CEO of DLA Night. With me today, I've got Tony Flath. F Tony is all the way from, you're near Edmonton in um, in Canada, aren't you? Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, you bet. There you go. Um, and we're actually going to talk about storyboarding, um, using storyboards in, in, um, in, in sales. Uh, what is it? Why is it good for you? Um, and all of those things. Before we get into it, Tony, where can people get hold of you? Sure thing. And Tim, thanks so much for having me on. This is great. You can get a hold of me. I'm on Twitter at T Man Speaks. You can catch me there, or you can catch me on LinkedIn, Tony Flath, uh, F L A T H, like math, except an F and an L. And then uh, you can also get me. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram at T Man Speaks. So look for me there. And you've got your own podcast and absolutely stuff. the wave of change. Yeah. You can catch that on Spotify, on iTunes, on SoundCloud. Uh, and then I also have it on my own site, uh, rhinomanproductions.com. And then also another site I have is tmanspeaks.com. You got contact there that you can get in touch with me. So yeah, certainly reach out. So, so give us some background of your, you know, give me, give us the, elevator pitch of Tony Flaff. Sure thing. So the elevator pitch, well, I, I certainly, you know, I grew up in the, in the, in the era of, of the eighties and had a great time there through, through high school and everything. And, um, you know, came out of high school, really not sure a hundred percent what I was going to do for life and for a career. I thought I had it made in the shade when I got a job with a infamous company that's quite well known now, Equifax, right? So before I went to university, I got this job skip tracing and collecting and doing all these different things in the collection on the collection side with Equifax. And then I realized quickly, I better get a little more school and do a little bit more with life. I, I worked um, actually in a pool and spa capacity uh, and even became a general manager there while I was going through school. I went through First Nate, uh, which is a technical institute. And then from there, I went on to Athabasca University and got my Bachelor of Administration. And then on from there, I went in for um, one of my first jobs. I had a few different jobs, in, in you know, one in tech, but one that really kind of is a capstone of where I kind of dipped my toe into technology uh, and to cloud and really learned so much was Ceridian, Ceridian Canada. So Ceridian is a HR outsourced organization. I'd started with them when they were ComCheck in Canada. That was quickly bought out to become Ceridian Canada. And I started first with client server application software. I first implemented it at the time. Uh, so I'd learned quite a bit. I worked with developers, everything like that. Uh, you know, I learned some pains of databases, but I did learn some SQL, different things like that. And then I also had a really unique opportunity to work with head office and go to Winnipeg and get on the server room floor where they're building out these huge Unix servers to support their cloud initiative. And this is even right around the Y2K prior to that, mm -hmm. right around when the first That's early, early days, early days when, you know, we released software as a service before really cloud was known for what it is today. Right. So, Early adopter of that, many challenges, but real building blocks, right? I grew up in a DevOps world. I worked a lot with different developers, things like that. Uh, from there, I had started a first company of mine in, in uh, Right Fit Solutions, where I did consulting and work around HR systems. Uh, I also worked with a few cloud providers. That's where I first got my toe more into IaaS and different as a service cloud offerings. Uh, so I worked through that and then I got into telecom, worked for a few different telecoms, uh, selling, uh, you know, both telecom services and more importantly, technology services. I was brought into those organizations with a strong technology background and they were rolling out more technology services. So I've worked there in a few capacities. Uh, one of them was a real interesting one as a specialist for cybersecurity. So I got real insight, worked as a subject matter expert. Uh, that's kind of where I had my first toe into artificial intelligence and machine learning, right? I uh, certainly along the way have been always interested, just like my early days of when I started at Ceridian, uh, you know, being at the cutting edge of technology, I've kind of towed along there. So 
for some reason, and of course, you know, I love heavy metal, right? And we love, we both love metal. So we do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, here's a, an old headbanger that's, you know, out there rocking it with technology and learning all this, this new technology forefront and, um, you know, involved in a number of different things and still like working in, in telecom now with, with Shaw Business, with large enterprise, right? So rolling that out and dealing with issues around COVID and then lots of side hustle stuff with social media. And that's how we connected, right? Which is such a cool thing over the last, you know, number of years really now, uh, I took an interest in social media, right? Um, it kind of started really as first I had a hundred followers on T-Man Speaks for a long time. And I kind of laughed about that, right? Because ironically, T-Man Speaks didn't say so much, right? And then I had really good advice from a marketing coordinator at one of the telecom companies I worked at. And she had noticed that I did enough on LinkedIn, right? And she had said, well, if you connect that to Twitter and do a few things, and I made the joke that I'd had a Twitter account and all that, right? Well, it took off. First, I got to like, you know, a thousand followers and it was like, Hey, this is cool. I'm interacting. She taught me trending, hashtagging, different things like that. Right. And I said, this is really cool. And then I got involved and read a blog about how to connect with influencers. Right. And I connected with a number of them and I've connected with more and more of them like yourself. Right. So it's just been an interesting journey and I've gotten to work with really big brands and everything. Now, along that way, and we're both involved with this, and this comes back to your question on the, the storyboarding and, and storytelling, right? Is, you know, from a sales perspective, I've always been big on storytelling. Years back, I did a crash course, executive crash course training on storyboarding, or, or on storytelling, right? And storytelling to me, it just kind of defined how I'd already sold, right? Like, I love telling a story. I love the caveman analogy with the painting on the wall and it's inherent in us, right? That we want to hear this story, right? So, so I was really- what is that? What is it, Tony? What is it that, that, that makes us as humans love stories? It really seems like when I took this crash course training, what I found real interesting was the parallel to the caveman painting stories, right? Yeah. So you think back in the day when you were telling the story of a, of a great, you know, um, you were out hunting and it was a great, great, you know, event out on the plains and you had to do all these things. Well, you know, you know, they, they came up with these wall paintings that conveyed this. And if you can imagine everybody sitting around and listening to this, right? I think it's partly inherently embedded in us that we like to hear a story, right? It's why media is so big and Hollywood is so big and we love to read and sci-fi is so huge, I believe, right? Is we just love a good story. And when you look at that from a business perspective, I really think it's the same thing. When you're engaged and you can tell a good story about your solution and how organizations are working with it, way more engagement, way more. So along that path, both you and I really are involved with the Keen folks, right, out of Barcelona. Hmm. So I connected with Miguel um, out of Keen folks, and we chatted back and forth. And uh, from that, you know, got involved in some interesting AI initiative, um, you know, digital transformation. You're coming from the social selling side, right? So, you know, and it's been a really interesting journey along that path, right? And, and you and, had a book that has particularly inspired you, hasn't it? Yes, actually, it certainly has. And this came out of actually working with Miguel, right? Yeah. And on his site, the Keen Folks site, there's some books he recommends, right? And one of them is X, The Experience When Business Meets Design. And that's by Brian Solos, right? Yeah. And I read this book and it was just so much, like, it's about the user experience and how important user experience is. And this is so key, like especially with this AI rollout, you have got to think about users. More and more users are demanding that, you know, they be, it's about them and how that experience is, right? And it just exemplifies like big giants like Apple who have done so well with experience and everything else, right? So it exemplifies that. And everything is so, you know, um, detailed there. But when I read this book, so I'm reading through this book. And one of the things, first it gets to this point 
of the storytelling. So the storytelling chapter, I have to stop. I have to put the book down, right? And I have to just say for a second, oh, I'm such a story. You know, I love storytelling. But the reason I put it down was because the next chapter was storyboarding. Right. Now, I've thought for a while about storyboarding. I actually, as a fan of movies and as a fan of, you know, cartoons and how they come alive and what Disney did with that. And just, you know, I knew the concept of storyboarding before I read it in context to business, right? And I thought about this for a while. You know, I vlog enough. I do different things like that. And I've thought, well, if you put a storyboard around it, that would make a lot of sense because you kind of draw it out. I'm, so, I'm artistic so enough, is, right? So, Tony, what is a storyboard? So a storyboard essentially is, let's say, for example, you're going to plan out something, right? And you want to visualize it, right? Well, then you want to draw that out. So you want to draw it out. So say even in a business example, you want to draw out your different types of customers. So you want to look at your different types of customers and you want to say, okay, this is my customer that's in this age group. And you're actually going to draw them out, right? You might draw a little family and sketch a little family. And then you're going to position them and realize different things about them from a creative perspective, right? On how to identify and work with those. Now you do see some organizations that do a lot of this, right? Where you'll see really cool graphics or cartoon type, you know, people, things like that, right? And, and I'm doing some of that myself right now, just in, you know, plotting out my side hustle and different things like that and really drawing yourself into the picture, right? And, you know, visualizing that. So it's a lot about visualization. It's a lot about, you know, focus and, and really pulling together some, you know, conceptual idea and some, you know, design idea and just really some taking the dream from a dream to reality and using the storyboard to do that, right? right? And from that, what's really being found, especially when you implement that in a business solution way, right, is it's so much better to define a better customer experience, right? right. So when you draw those things out, you kind of realize some things and all of a sudden it's like, oh, wait, we have this family group, but what about this family group? Or we have this family, you know? So I think it just helps to kind of, you know, pull that out. Do you have your examples there? Actually, yeah. So I've got some. Let me just flip through here. I was showing you just before we got started, right? So I started doing this a little bit with Miguel and team there at the Keen folks, right? And just bear with me. I've got it in here. And I, I started looking at myself and saying, you know, it's about time that I get some goals going and different things like that. I've read a few books and I've been working on the side hustle for a while, right? And I thought it's it's really about time. So here's one of the, oh no, here actually, let's find another better one. Sorry, I should have left that page open. So here they come up. So here we go. So this is a good example, right? Yeah, yeah. see that? So like I'm saying, okay, now it's time to set some goals, right? It's time to set some things in flight. It's time to take some other action, right? So I started there. So like health and diet, keep on that, right? Um, you know, bet, you know, look for different kind of side hustles that are more interest, different things like that, engagement, right? Just different kind of things there. So then further from that came this, right? Okay. Yeah. So now if, you from move that, that, if you move that towards your you, your face a bit, so move it back, to, uh, that's better, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so here I've got some different sketches that I put together that really took it a step further. You can see my aha moment, right? Yeah. So that's really the moment where I came to that storyboard chapter and I put the book down, right? Hmm. Where I was like, wow, this is really taking it. This is what I've wanted to do. I've thought about this for a while. Now I want to do this, right? So, you know, I've, I've taken it further and you can see right in there when you back it up, right? So it, it actually ended up with me. This is how I got interested to get back into school and I'm doing an AI certificate with MIT right now, right? Which is what you're doing right now. Yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm one week away from completing it, right? And really that came out of the initiative of really drawing it out and really putting yourself in the picture, right? So when you put yourself in the picture,
then you can see yourself actually moving forward with that, right? Yeah. And it's quite a it's quite a fun journey, and um, there's going to be more. I should I'll, I'll hold off. I, I showed you some other stuff before, but I'll wait to show that um, when it comes more out with my blog. Yeah. And that's about that's also about having creating your own affirmations, isn't it? And saying this is what I want to do going forward. And by um, you know you always said people say that to have an affirmation you should have it on a piece of paper that you can read every day but by what you're doing here with the storyboard is that you're bringing it to life with uh, um with the uh with the pictures it is it's so interesting and like the uh, miguel alexa and team at the keen folks have been amazing to work with so they're taking some of this initiative and even drawing it out further so stay tuned so for some really uh interesting cool stuff to come with that but when you go through that, what I find is it does, it really helps. Like I've read years ago, Think and Grow Rich. I've read it a few points in life, right? And, you know, I certainly stay focused and, you know, those daily things when you're down, you're up or whatever, you got to get back up and stay at it, right? So those things certainly help, but really I'm enjoying the storyboarding. It, it just takes it to a, you know, a, a level of, of, like you say, where you're imagining yourself in it, right? Yeah. And, and you, you're, you're now using this both personally and in business, and you're going to use this as a, as a method of taking your life forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's some collaborative stuff that I've already been working on and have been suggesting that we work on it that way, right? That we draw out some of these things that we want to look at. And definitely, like when I'm looking at, uh, you know, how I'm going to approach, for example, like I do some meetings in Edmonton uh, with you know, Alberta Tech Forum and talk about different initiatives, right? Well, same thing. I'll jot down some sketches or some ideas and they really help to further that and communicate that, right? And and really when you look back at them, they're also, you know, really good pegs for the mind, right? Where you kind of remember those visual things, right? Right. Yeah. And, and I think sometimes, you know, having that um, a journal or a um a diary of 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 things that you can go back and say two years ago i was doing this and then what you're you're able to say that you're actually moving forward absolutely and they go along too like i there's a couple videos that i really tend to watch a few times a week and go back to them if it's been a few days and some weeks i might watch them every day right uh mm -hmm. there's one from denzel washington and then another one from arnie arnold schwarzenegger right Denzel's is the college address one that he does. Uh, and then Arnie's is the one that broke the internet, right? It says something like that. But they talk about goals and they talk about dreams, right? They talk about, you know, focus and everything else. And it is, it's good daily affirmation stuff, mm -hmm. right? Uh, have you read Arnold Schwarzenegger's autobiography? No, it's something uh, that I definitely would like to oh, do. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a great read because it's a... Um, it's about focus and about um, having a clear vision of what, what it is you want to do and then working out, you know, I want to get here. So how do I, what, what is it that I need to do to get there? Absolutely. Um, and, of course, and of course, wrapped in that is the story of his life and, and the success he had and the failures he made. Um, you know, he, he, wasn't a, he wasn't a good husband, um, but he was a good movie star. Yeah. Um, and those things, you know, um, you know, we 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 um, you know, we like a good story and it, it's it's well worth a read. It is quite a thick book. But you'd nice. expect Arnie. Well, you'd expect it. He's Arnie. He's got a lot. Of, he's got a lot to say. Right. No, it's, it's I really enjoyed it. It's it's really cool. Like one of the things I think, you know, that I enjoy is when he talks about Muhammad Ali. Right. And he asked Muhammad Ali, like, you know, like, how many reps do you do? Right. And he said, well, I don't start counting till it hurts then i start counting right mm -hmm. and i thought that's dedication right yeah mm -hmm. yeah good old arnie and, and muhammad ali they're legends 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 yeah. so so what are you going to do going forward with this tony what are you going to what, what are you going to make of this so what i'm going to make of this is i definitely am going to stay on track with it it's already in flight right so you know part of this blog and you know when it comes out you'll see it is you know this over this 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 knowledge and just this knowing that you're on a right path towards something you stay with your goals you stay with your activity you stay with your focus right 
But more than anything, and I think this is an important, you know, like kind of a message for everybody, is you can't wait till you get to these big points in life and think, oh, I'm there and everything's just going to be glorious. You got to take those little steps, right? So every little inch, because those little inches might be your biggest inspiration moments, right? When you really add them up. So I think it's a matter of really collecting those and paying attention to those and staying focused and staying at it and having fun with it, right? Like if it's not fun, don't do it. And, and I think this is a great authentic way of doing it. Um, Thanks, yeah. You know, you're, you know, in terms of it's you. Um, and I think sometimes people don't want to put those things in writing because of the vulnerability. Yeah, um, you have and, to put you know, yourself out. Yeah, you really do. And, and, you know, you've got to put yourself out there. Um, and, you know, if you want to um, get fit and, and, and lose weight, then the best thing to do is to tell people that you're going to do that. Because then if you don't do it, you're, everyone's going to so say, I thought you were going to say you're going to get fit and lose weight. Uh, well, I didn't. I stayed in bed. Okay, so you said you were going to do it, so, to do it. So, But, you know, you are putting yourself out there. And that's oh, absolutely. Authentic. Absolutely. Yeah, on a personal level, I lost more than 200 pounds, right? So it's, it's the same thing. It's a matter of, it, you know, you don't lose that in one day or a month or even months you got like it took a year and you got to be focused determined on top of it right and you know get help i got help you got to do things you can't do it all alone that's one thing you know like arnie says is he talks about the gratitude towards others that he didn't do it alone right you know when he was first starting out and all the other bodybuilders he didn't have anything they all brought him something on thanksgiving like a tv tray and a tv stand and a table and everything right and just the impact that had on him and it's the same thing like you can't on your own make it you have to make it with the help of others for sure and i, I you you have lost so much weight tony yeah yeah oh yeah for sure i've right. uh, it's a constant battle you got to stay on top of it right mm -hmm. it, it can fluctuate for sure but overall, yeah, no, I stay on it. I go back in. Like, I followed a really good program with Ideal Protein and my doctor. Uh, shout out to Diamond Dallas Page's DDP Yoga. It's great. It's fantastic. It's so good for joints, back, movement, things like that. But, um, yeah, no, and I, I got help from the doctor, right? Like, I just didn't attempt to do it myself. And I did a number of things. So, it was it's like... It's like your best security. It's layered approach, right? Same thing. Tony, you're an inspiration. Well, thanks. Well, so are you. I'm so inspired you, 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 by you, everything you, you do. Yeah, you, you're doing you, you're doing stuff, and you 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 know you 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 you're giving it a go, and you know what you want to do. I mean, the fact that you you lost weight, you're doing this MIT qualification. You know, it's you, you know the last thing you want to do is wake up a um, you said you're in the 80s, so you know you, you, want, you don't want to wake up in your 60s and go, oh, "I wish I'd t tried that." Yeah, you know, absolutely not. Absolutely, no. do the things. You you only live once. You definitely do. Yeah, and and it's been a tough year all around. Like 2020's been hard. You got COVID, everything else. I mean, I've gone through enough personal stuff. A few months ago, I lost a brother suddenly at night. You know, like he That's passed away. Right. You know, and and these things happen, right? And, you know, like I've had my dad in and out of the hospital. He's doing better now. But you really have to just focus on, you know, getting through, getting by, everything else. And really, at the end of the day, what really matters is just how you are and how you engage with people, right? And, and what you want to do. And I think that's what's really important is such a small percentage of people really give it a go, right? Yeah. Why not give it a go? Why not? And I have a lot of inspiration. My mom worked for years to get a book published, right? I watched her work at that, right? And, you know, big, you know, they're very religious. My dad's a Lutheran minister. So I, I come by the gift of the gab, by honestly, right? And, you know, that's why I had such a colorful 80s too, right? You, you, I'm sure you've heard of the preacher kids. But, um, you know, so... But my mom, she slugged away and, and had a book come out, and it's the same thing, right? So if anything, you know, you just stay that positive activity forward and, you know, and, and really look to connect with people that are like-minded and have some, some real value to add together, right? 
Tony, that's fantastic. It's been great talking to you. And as I say, you, you are an inspiration. Um, where can people get, where can people find you on social media? For sure. So again, you can get me on T at, at T man speaks on Twitter. Uh, you can catch me on my web website, tmanspeaks.com. There's contact information there you can get me at. And then you can also get me at LinkedIn, Tony Flath, and certainly reach out. I'd love to, you know, check out. I've got content out there. Check out my podcast. Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, I'd love to hear from you. And Tim, as always, it's always great chatting with you. I, a big, a big shout out to you too. You've taken quite a risk in the last few years and look at you go, right? Like all the success to you. Um, you know, I, I love the social selling focus. I think it's such a great message and it's only getting started. We are just getting started, yes, but thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, It's it's a team effort, but I'd love to take the, all the credit for it, but it's a team effort. But yeah, sure, take it all a little, eh? No. Why not? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's, a team, it's a team effort. I can yeah, it is anything really in life is right like yeah you I'm, can do so much more with a number of people than on your own yeah. we have a, a wonderful uh broad and diverse team and, and 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 i love them all nice well and i enjoy interacting with you and all the other folks you work with yeah it's it's a lot of fun okay and this has been great this has been great sure sure tony it's been fantastic and 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 i you know, if, if people have been watching this, then get in contact with Tony. And he's he's very busy on social, so you will get in contact. And he's got, got some great content, so he's worth finding and um, checking out. Awesome. Thanks so much. Have a great, great one. Have a good day, Tony. Thanks so much. Take care, everyone. Thanks. Bye now. Bye.